the thing. I feel that uh, this trip is getting a little bit boring in the way that you are seeing things that happened one month ago. Right now, we are in a completely different place. So shall we just fast forward the trip, shall we? We made it to the second island, Gili Air. Have a snorkeling tour. Uh, we've been in Tulamban for the night. Vincent is currently diving. <laughs> Island of Nusa Penida. Santa Point. It's very wavy here. Okay. Let's jump in the water. The Broken Beach. Broken Beach. Yeah. It should be okay now. It should be okay now. Be quick. Be quick. Okay, let's let's go. Go go. Before coming at the big ones. Awesome. They give you a bit adrenaline, you know. <laughs> come. Good morning. Today is the last day in Asia after five months. <laughs> Massage of Asian trip. Mm, so sad. <laughs> so as you see, I'm a control freak. I have a list of things that we have to do, uh, and we need to do the check-in online. Shall we do it now? Yeah. Check-in done now. Good morning! 
You are the best one. Six o'clock in the morning. No queue here, that's nice. Hello. This was literally the queue that we had, non-existing. Okay, so 6.02, luggage just dropped. Do you like my nail polish? I do. Okay, five minutes after we passed even the security. Now let's see how it goes with the stamp for the visa because we are overstaying one day, let's see. So even that was super smooth, it took maybe 10 minutes, so what happened is that we went to the desk and uh, they were like, oh you overstayed one day, we were like, yeah we know, so we have the money, you need to pay 300,000. I was actually an honest criminal, <laughs> I said straight away, I handed my passport and said, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm so no, but anyway, um, you need to pay 300,000 for every day extra that you stay. But if you plan to stay much Which is longer, about 20 euros, I think. 20 something euros, like yeah, that. something like this. Uh, if you pay, play, uh, if you plan to stay much longer, the best thing is actually to get an extension visa. Uh, and I'm not sure how you get it. You need to go to some offices. And also, in the like city. if you stay less than 60 days overstay you have to pay like 300,000 per day for the 60 days. Yeah. If you stay longer than 60 days, you'll get uh, blacklisted from oh, yeah. Indonesia. Yeah. You actually have 30 days visa. It's not one month, it's 30 days. And the first day that you arrive, it counts like first day. So make sure that you count your days because we said 31 instead of 30 basically. Okay, now let's see about the visa, how it's Could gonna go. Okay, this was like maybe one of the smoothest things that we haven't done. Probably. Maybe they asked us more questions when we went to Hong Kong or they just asked you a few questions. Yeah. How long are you? Ten, they asked me like about the things that I had written down on this arrival card. Yeah. How long am I planning to stay? Is it holiday only? What kind of work would I be looking for? That's it. We didn't have to show the papers or no, anything. Nothing. For me, I just went no, there. No, like bank statement or nothing. Not, or that nothing you can at support all. yourself. Nothing like that. Uh, I just went there and uh, he was like, "Oh, are you not working holiday visa?" Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I was like, "What? No questions or anything." Everyone's so then, had like a really nice approach, though, yeah, for exactly. being like airport security. Yeah, and then uh, we had to declare that we had wood because we bought two wooden souvenirs in Bali. So that took a little bit of a longer queue just to get them checked out, but it was super fine. So now we are out here. I suppose now we um, there is Wi-Fi, so we downloaded Uber. Uh, Vincent now is gonna check a little bit how can we get the place where we stay and we're gonna get some cash so we can pay Uber and I'm not gonna show you the place where we are staying because it's the house of uh, uh, a friend of mine uh, so it's like a more private thing so I'm, I cannot show you that uh, but I think we will go there we will probably take a quick shower or something and then we are gonna head out to have something to eat go to a supermarket and buy some food because oh yeah I didn't tell you we are gonna stay basically uh, in this house for at least a month so it's gonna be more, it's not any more hotel and so on. We are really like living a bit more like locals. So we will cook our own food as much as we can and so on. So I can show you that side when we are out and we are exploring the surrounding of the area. Guys, this is so weird. Help. If it was weird to leave Sweden and go to Southeast Asia that it was hot and summer and everything, the weirdest is to come here. Because look, and it's, it's autumn. Actually, it's, it's actually, yeah, it's autumn or winter. I thought it was winter. Yeah, it's almost the end of autumn because you see the, yeah, look, the leaves, they almost fell, all of that. I'm still undressed like a Swedish summer. <laughs> this is so confusing. It's such a nice temperature. I have no idea what I am. It's so confusing. This. We had to have like first meal, our 
very first Australian burger. Sorry, couldn't help it. So excited! And it looks so nice, this area actually. And it's quite of a cool, like this store is like an old looking store. And there, there is like a sort of pub that used to be a motel, it seems like. And then the street continues there with more restaurants and stuff. And this quite like different restaurants too. 